In this video, we'll talk about the knee area and the differential diagnosis of a patient who presents with a knee pain. So here we have the knee joint and in the middle we have the patella. On top we have the quadriceps muscle and in the lower side we have the patellar tendon. So let's talk about patients who present with anterior knee pain. So they will describe the pain as diffuse and also when you examine them they will have a crepitus sensation. It can be unilateral or bilateral. When you feel the knee, there will be no tenderness, and the differential diagnosis should be, in your mind, osteoarthritis versus patellofemoral pain syndrome. Now, some characteristics that goes with patellofemoral pain syndrome is the patient will have normal X-ray findings, and the other thing is it's more with squatting and climbing stairs. While in osteoarthritis, it's more with any activity. And also the pain here is going to be more in the medial side. And the x-ray won't be normal. Actually, there are four x-ray manifestations that can help diagnosing osteoarthritis. And we'll talk about this more when we talk about osteoarthritis in a separate video. Now, patellofemoral pain syndrome, the treatment is going to be stretching exercises. And important to note that braces don't work in these patients, so don't use them or choose them as an answer. Next, the third differential is going to be prepatellar bursitis, which is also in the anterior side of the knee. And here it's more localized, mainly in jumpers, in addition that you will have a very distinctive feature, which is tenderness on examination. Next, we'll talk about another medial side, anterior medial, I would say, pain, and that's ansurin bursitis. It's very important to know the location, the medial anterior side of the knee. Now, these patients will have point tenderness on exam, and also they might have local swelling and signs of inflammation as well. It's very common in people who are jumpers or who are athletes who runs a lot and do exercises. Now, next, I'm going to focus here on this area in the upper lateral side of the knee where we have a fibrous tissue that stabilizes the knee and the hip with their movement. And this fibrous tissue called the iliotibial band. Now, inflammation can develop secondary to overuse, like in athletes, for example, and the patient will have tenderness in that area. At this point, we will call it iliotibial band syndrome. And the advice you want to give these patients is to decrease the overuse in addition to focusing more on stretching and strengthening exercises to help improve their symptoms. Hope you guys learned something from this video and see you in the next one.